There's some weapons that when Pack-a-Punch get some special features that other weapons don't. And a little birdie told me that the PDSW gets an insane amount of ammo when Pack-a-Punch. So let's hop in with it and check it out. So in case you're not familiar with the PDSW, this is basically the P90 and this is an MW2 gun. And unless I'm stupid, which is very likely, uh, I'm pretty sure you can't get a larger mag on this weapon. It only has a 50 round mag. There's plenty of other attachments for other parts of the weapon, but you cannot add in a larger magazine. But from what chat was telling me when you pack a bunch of this, you're supposed to get a lot of ammo on the mag. So I already have a crystal right here. Let's pack a bunch of it and see. We have 400 bullets just in the mag. That's ridiculous. That's an insane number. Well, that's going to make it really easy to get this golden ivory. But since we are grinding golden ivory on this, we have a few base camos we have to get done before we can get that camo. And obviously the one it's going to have first is going to be the 250 kills you have to get, which is like on every single weapon. Then after that, we have to get five kills without letting go of the trigger 20 times, which should be super easy with all the ammo we have in here. And yes, I will still COD reload it after only shooting a few bullets. I don't see a universe where I don't COD reload my weapon regardless of how much ammo is in it. But we also need to get 200 critical kills with it, which shouldn't be too terrible. But there is one unique challenge that I haven't seen for any other weapon. We need to get 50 mercenary kills with it. But coincidentally, I have this Act 2 challenge here where I need to kill 20 mercenaries in Merc camps. So we might as well just kill two birds with one stone or... 50 mercs with one pdsw if i was a merc camp where would i be there's one all the way over here is there not really anyone closer am i dumb don't answer that all right well i guess we'll make the voyage over there this has got to be like the largest magazine for a gun in the game though right like i can't imagine any other weapon having more ammo than this even like an lmg it seems like lmgs where you can get an extended mag that's like 100 rounds it usually only like doubles to like 200 if there's any weapon out there that has more ammo in the magazine than this let me know but this used to be a thing that cod did a lot where like each weapon gets like a unique feature when it's pack a punch and not all weapons really get that anymore i guess all weapons didn't get it before but it used to be more common but what we've seen so far is when we use the joker launcher that had the feature where we didn't have to reload after every bullet i guess it's kind of similar to what like the m79 is in cold war but it's a lot more convenient with the joker because it already takes so long to shoot the thing have it go in the air and land on the ground but being able to shoot three rockets while like already locking onto something is crazy at least for joker standards and i'm pretty sure there's there's some other weapons out there that also have some different features for it. and a lot of them seem to be mw2 guns so they're really trying to give you some incentive to use some weapons from last year's game here in Zombies, which I think is pretty cool. But now it's time for us to go Merc hunting. This counter UAV, gone. Get it out of here. The rest of these guys, dead. Already collided. They have no idea what hit them. They're all getting slept. What's this guy doing over here? This is my Merc camp. My mercenaries. The hell did you just get out of that? There's a whole Merc cache here. Whatever. Don't care. I'm here for murder and that's it. Where are the rest of you guys? There's no way there's like six people here in this one camp. Oh, there's a dude up here. Lele. Is there another guy up there? I still hear sniper shots. Oh, there is. See ya. Oh, and they are all dead. All right, where are the rest of the Merc camps at? Actually, there's Merc camp caches that I need to loot. Is this it? Did this guy already take my Merc? Yeah, he did. So we're gonna have to do one extra camp here. But if there's only like three to four mercenaries at each camp... We're just gonna have to do a few anyways. I think there's another one down the road. Oh, and this guy's also going for it. Why's everybody going for these mercenaries? I just want to open up the cache. I don't even want the stuff from it. So you can get all the loot. I just want the kills and I want to be able to open it up. There we go. I will take the PhD though. And the durable gas mask. Okay, so I, I lied. I'll be taking a few things. That still didn't count for the, the Merc camp caches. What I gotta open? Am I missing something? Do I have to take everything out of it? That's just a cache. That's an Aether cache. Oh, here's the Merc cache. I guess let me grab all this stuff. Maybe that will count. Oh, it does. Cool. Let's keep moving along. We're gonna clear all the Mercs out of Urgistan. I'm a one-man army. Oh, shit. I was not paying attention. We just ran into them. That's fine, though. Clean sweep on these guys. And I think we killed them all. We just need to do one more. And what's happening, boys? There's actually a lot of you here. This is perfect. Oh, and they're all dead. I'll grab all this. And we got it done. Give me my free perk. Still don't think we have our mercenary camo, though. So maybe we find one more camp just to take them out. All right, well, at this point, I kind of feel bad for them. Like, how are you guys an entire, like, group just being taken out by one dude? There's got to be more still here. Oh, he's up top. I wonder if I can assassinate him. Let's go find out. Oh, there's two of them. Are they ladder camping? Better not be. So we'll take him out. Oh, and there's our camo. You know what? I'll spare you. It's like you thought. 
All right, now we can go for our zombie kills. I'm gonna go for an Outlast contract. Give me that contract. Let's start it up and get the grinding. Where you at, zombies? I got some crits to get. We also need to really focus on getting our five kills without letting go of the trigger because we need 20 of those. So let's get this up to like 75% real quick. That way we get a decent amount of spawns. And then once we get enough zombies trained up, I'll go for it. Actually, we don't even really need to train them up or anything to do this. We have 400 bullets to work with. We can just shoot and shoot and shoot. The zombies will eventually spawn. There's got to be like the, the best camo challenge they could have put with this weapon. I wonder though for the camo progress to track if I have to let go and then re-hold it down to count another five. There we go. Now we're getting the spawns we're looking for. There's a shit ton of zombies. And those are 250 kills. This is basically like unlimited ammo with the way the zombies drop ammo in this game. Just gotta reload like once every two minutes. But well, the way we're doing it, we're not getting a whole lot of crits. So maybe I should ADS. It's not doing that bad like damage wise either. I know these are all just normal zombies, but maybe once we get these camos done, we should go test this out on the tier three zone. We should have enough money by then to get Pack-A-Punch three. I feel like there's no way we haven't gotten our 20 kills or five kills 20 times without letting go of the trigger. Because the only time I'm reloading is when this magazine is empty and we're getting more than five kills tell you what oh wait nope there it is i was literally just about to open my phone and look it up i'm pretty sure this gun is like the sole reason we don't have ring of fire in this game because you could shoot your entire 400 round mag and get your ring of fire back within like 200 bullets i think it would literally be like shooting unlimitedly you would never have to stop shooting with this weapon oh and there's our 200 crits damn that was actually pretty quick. This gun's nasty. Not having to reload and not having to stop shooting is like extremely efficient for getting camos, apparently. Who would have thought? And we actually have just enough to get Pack-A-Punch 3. So let's go ahead and finish this mission. We'll grab Pack 3, and then we have a date with the Mega Abomination. And that should do it. Let's go. All right, where's that Pack-A-Punch at? Oh, it's right here near the edge. That should be easy to get to. All right, let's grab Pack 3. Is the Wonder Fizz anywhere nearby? Wonder Fizz is all the way over here. I might go check that out for a second. Because we are missing a few perks, or maybe one or two. Let's go see what those are. Ooh, 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 we're getting mobbed first, though. Oh, maybe this doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would do. This is only, like, epic tier. I say only as if epic's terrible. But maybe all the ammo is why this doesn't do this much damage. Because the zombies are tanking shots. The elites are tanking shots. But I have not stopped shooting, so they're all going down one way or another. Actually, this is kind of a dangerous weapon to be using here. Because, yeah, we got 400 bullets in the mag, but we only have 400 reserve as well. And while you're shooting your mag, you can't pick up any reserve because your reserve is capped at 400. So we got to make sure that we're being vigilant about our ammo count. Oh, and this guy just brought a mega abomination right over to us. What the fuck? How much damage are we doing to him? Um... Uh... Not an insane amount, but not a terrible amount either. Kind of mid. But this guy wants to bring me a Mega Abomination to fight? I'll fucking fight it. I don't care. Oh, the damage isn't bad. Ooh. Let's try to break one of his faces so he can't laser me. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw a decoy. Let's get all the zombies to go to it. And then I'm going to nade them. Enjoy that. You guys got ammo for me? Thank you. Come on. I need your face to explode, please. He keeps switching once one's glowing. There we go. We've taken out about a third of his health now. Honestly, I kind of feel more comfortable fighting the Mega Abomination with this than I did with the TYRs. And the TYRs definitely do more damage. Got a bit more range on him with this, though. Jeez, it's like every time I turn around to shoot him, he lunges at me. Cocksucker. Ooh, ooh, he stunned me with that one. Okay, let's use this mag here, and I see that there's an ammo thing nearby us. So maybe I can just run over to that. Let's grab that. Maybe we kill some zombies here to get our frenzy guard back. Or at least some armor. Enjoy a nade. Beautiful. We get both. We got it down to like half health. Just keep opening that mouth for me. We'll get to bust him real soon. Almost out of ammo again. I wonder if our cache is, uh, cooldown is gone. It's going to take us like 3,000 bullets. Is it done cooling down? It is. That's actually sweet. That was fast. All right, thank you for waiting, Abomination. Back to your regularly scheduled ass kicking. Oh, I'm stunned. We gotta move. Low health. No armor. I'm gonna try to kill some of these zombies really quick. You guys got armor for me, right? Nope. They're holding out on me. Oh, well, we got the second head down. Oh, and he's pissed. He's not happy about that. What's the matter? Can't get in here? Idiot. Let me get some more ammo. Can you back away from the door, though? 
You camping fuck? Oh, this is so easy, actually. I'm not gonna do you like that. We'll fight you outside. Beat your ass in the fresh air. There we go. Like 9,000 bullets later and he's dead. I'll take that, that raw Ethereum crystal. A large rucksack and a rare Aether tool. Next time pay out better, broke ass bitch. I think if you kill a mega abomination, it should automatically just fill up your field upgrade. I think that's fair. And we're right next to the Wonder Fizz. I don't really need it now, but I'm just gonna grab it to grab it. Oh, it's just elemental pop that we were missing. But we do only have two minutes to leave this godforsaken place. And I still need to extract if I want to get my golden ivory camo. There's another mega abomination here, but I don't have another 4,000 bolts to take you out, so... You can live. That was fun, but let's make our way out of here. Let's call that bad boy in. And now the Aether Storm's on its way here, but we're not going to stay to see the rain. Let me out. Let's get out of here. And let's hope that our Golden Ivory Challenge didn't glitch out. I'm pretty sure since they patched the X-Fills that the Golden Ivory Challenge has been all right. Same with Golden Enigma, but maybe I just jinxed it talking about it. That's a successful X-Fill. Got out with two Aether Tools and a Crystal. Also completed a mission. We got 1,030 zombie kills. That's ridiculous. And we got 51 mercenary kills. Just one over what we needed. But did we get the most important thing of them all? Let's go. Every single camo done for it in just one game. And we actually got it done pretty fast. It only took like a half hour. Just to make sure that we do have it though. Oh yeah, we do. Just need seven more SMGs to get Spinal Husk. Damn, that's a lot of SMGs. And just in case you're curious, this is what the PDSW looks like with Golden Ivory on it. Honestly... I don't know how I feel about this camo and this gun, because I do like the camo, I do like the gun. But I don't know how well they go together. It just kind of looks uh, odd to me, I don't know why. But that had to be the fastest that I've gotten a weapon gold in this zombies yet. Just constantly being able to shoot is just so, so efficient for getting camos done, and it was a lot of fun. But if there are any other weapons out there that have more ammo in the magazine than this one, or just have some cool abilities when you pack a bunch of them, let me know. Because I really like going in and finding these weapons that have these different little quirks once you pack a bunch of them. It makes the grind a lot more fun. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.